Good evening everybody. Thank you very much for joining in this side Rahul Magan here as a Chief Executive Officer of Treasury Consulting LLP and today we are going to speak about another, another interesting topic in the fixed income market which is known as key rate duration. As you very well understand that uh, fixed income markets are uh, changing their course at a very faster pace and especially some countries like Tokyo, Swiss and Europe who are having who are following negative interest rate policy. In that regard, key rate duration play a very very important role uh, for uh, portfolio managers. Uh, uh, we are uh, we are a YouTube channel who keeps uploading a uh, lot of new videos, and uh, as you very well understand that we are stressing up uh, on fixed income and the technical analysis, and posting a lot of videos covering fixed income and technical analysis. And in that regards, this is uh, this is one of the videos. So one, what uh, I'm going to do in this video, we are going to cover the dynamics of the key rate duration and uh, we are going to cover this uh, in, in, in detail. This would be approximately uh, 25 minutes video. As you very well understand that duration play a very important role for a fixed income market and especially for the bonds. Like take a simple example, generally speaking duration is of two, is of two kinds, in fact I'm sorry three, which is macular duration which is modified duration and which is effective duration. Now macular duration is the weighted average duration. Modi macular duration, let me write here, macular duration is the weighted average duration and modified duration is nothing but macule 1 plus YTM N. N is the periodicity. Macular duration is also, macular duration computes the sensitivity of the bond price with respect to plus minus 1%. Now this plus minus 1% uh, is linear. So this is a linear combination and this is also a linear combination. Plus minus, let me write here, plus minus 100 bips or 1%. So if the bond price, assuming the bond, so you are taking YTM, so it would going to judge YTM plus 1% and here YTM minus 1%. This is what, you know, uh, this is what macular duration and modified duration would do. Now there is a, you know, uh, I would say uh, there is, a, this is linear sensitivity or this measures the entire yield curve. Example, you know that there are three kind of yield curves across the globe. Now one kind of yield curve is this, which is steep. One kind of yield curve is this, which is flat, one kind of yield curve is this, which is in what, right? Now this measures the above, above set, which is macular duration, modified duration, this measures, you know, uh, your so parallel shift in the yield curve. Now what is parallel shift in the yield curve? I am creating using dotting lines, either this or this. I mentioned this S1 and S2. Flat is flat, invert, this invert this i mentioned i1 and i2 this is how it will compute but suppose we are interested in calculating the duration as far as only our respective segment is concerned of the yield curve so we are not interested in calculating everything we are not interested in calculating for the entire yield curve we are interested in calculating for a specific segment of the yield curve right so this way key rate duration is very very important now what is key rate duration key rate duration measure the duration of the security or portfolio at a specific maturity point along the entire yield curve while keeping other maturity constant the key rate duration can be used to measure the sensitivity of the bond price to a one percent change in the yield for a specific maturity example you are having a bond with the portfolio 10 years 15 years, 20 years, 1 years, 2 years. 
you are calculating only for a specific maturity. Now breaking down the key rate duration, key rate duration is an important concept in estimating expected change in the value for a bond or a portfolio of the bond because it does so when the yield curve shifts in a manner that is not perfectly parallel which often happens because generally if this is a steep curve I will drawing up here I am considering only for a steep curve this is the original this is the historic steep curve and you know what did happen like this now I, I am interested in calculating key rate duration here I am writing KRD key rate duration here and I am interested in calculating KRD here key rate duration here so the key rate duration is an important concept in estimating the expected changes in the value of for a bond uh, or a portfolio of the bond because it does so when the yield curve shifts in a manner that is not perfectly parallel which occurs often effective duration another important concept like we earlier mentioned is an insightful duration my year that also calculate expected change in the bond price change in one percent given point but this is well valid for a parallel shift in the yield curve henceforth key rate duration is very important so all the yield curve like you mentioned macular duration your modified duration and effective duration all the key rate all all the offers said are effective when we are calculating the entire yield curve but key rate duration is effective because when we are calculating for a simple when we are calculating for a part of the yield curve henceforth key rate duration is very very important Another thing which we uh, see uh, would like to mention here uh, before moving forward is that as you very well understand that uh, central banks are, are, uh, are moving towards a negative interest rate policy. So some part of the yield curve is negative interest rate and some part of the yield curve is positive interest rate. It is not that the entire yield curve is negative. So sitting today you would have only two, two conditions. Either the entire yield curve would be negative which is not the scene as of now or a part is is negative which is which is which is the scene right now so what did happen in these considerations key rate duration turn out to be very very important for you and especially when for portfolio managers who are interested to target a specific maturity now take an example today 10 year ust sorry my mistake UST United States Treasury is trading approximately 1.75 percent if I am a carry trader who have a money in US but what I am getting a federal fund rate of 0.5 percent so I am a person who wanted to invest in uh, key, who wanted to invest in a specific who wanted to invest in US uh, in India or specifically wanted to target the 10 year segment so I am a, I am believe I believe in the segmentation theory. I don't believe that uh, I should invest everywhere, but I believe that I should invest at a at a specific places. In that regard, what option I would have? I would look for the impact of the bond impact on the bond prices with a change of plus minus one percent in the yield curve and for a specific position, which is ten years yield curve. So. This is what the key rate duration is turning out to be very very important. This is why key rate duration turns out to be very very important for the for, for the bond prices. Like take a simple example before uh, before moving forward. Let me give you a small example. I hope you heard about a company called Pimco the largest bond holder of the globe now what PIMCO does right now PIMCO is decreasing the maturity of sorry decreasing the duration of its bond segment this is something we have in the media but we are not sure that whether they are decreasing a specific segment or they are decreasing a, they are decreasing a particular portfolio we are not sure about that but what we are sure which is in the media is that the PIMCO is decreasing the portfolio duration Hence for key rate duration is very very important and sitting today when the entire yield curve is not negative it could it, it might be negative in a, in a period of time what do you mean by period of time I am not sure example take a simple example what would have uh, take a simple example you know uh, I would say I would say uh, maybe five years down the line or two years down the line you 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 would have a yield curve 
wherein everything is going to be everything is going to be negative to an extent i will uh, replicate an example of tokyo to an extent i can replicate the example of tokyo now in that regards you the key rate duration may or might not matter because what you will see a parallel shift in the yield curve but here you would see a parallel shift in the yield curve now to uh, now key rate duration is going to be used when you don't have a parallel shift in the yield curve so henceforth the key rate duration is turning is going to be very important now how we are going to calculate key, key, key rate duration it is very simple it is not uh, very difficult and the formula is uh, to an extent uh, you know uh, similar with the effective duration this is how you will calculate key rate duration what you do you will day p minus if you increase sorry if you decrease the yield by 100 bips minus p plus if you increase the yield by 100 bips 2 into p0 original price of the bond into 1% now this is how this, this is how we are going to calculate we are going to calculate like this p0 is the original price T minus, I write like this, bond price decreased by 1%. P plus, I write like this, bond price increased by 1%. Then what is the formula? Formula is known to you. Now take a simple example. Take a very simple example. Very simple. Assuming the bond, uh, assuming the bond is traded at face value 1000, coupon 8%. We are taking a little different example. We are taking present value also 1000. Why? Because yield is also 8%. You know that when coupon is equivalent to yield, it would almost be the same. So here we are taking little little different example. We are assuming that the coupon and the and the yield are same thing. Right? Take a simple example. And assuming you want me to decrease the price of the yield by 100 bips now how much would be the price in that regards i will let you know just give me one minute now how much would be the price that we need to check and assuming the price turned out to be wait a minute Uh, let us give you uh, just one minute. Let me calculate using Microsoft Excel. I will tell you just one minute. Uh, let me calculate using Microsoft Excel so that we would have a direct and live value of that. If the bond yield would uh, increase by plus 100 bips so how you will calculate you will calculate the present you will calculate the present value control a you will say rate is nine percent and per one pmt is eight p so the price of the bond would be 990 0.83 what would if i decrease the yield by 100 bips i will now this is at nine percent let me put in bracket now here i wanted to decrease the yield what i do i will take seven percent and per one pmt 80 face value 1000 this is zero how much i get 1009.35 this is if I take it to 7%. Now, what is the formula here? Formula is very simple. You know, the formula is not difficult. The formula is 
1009.35 minus I would say 990.83 let me write KRD key rate duration divided by 2 into P0 original price was 1000 please note we are not taking the face value rather we are taking the market value but in this example we assume that uh, the interest rate uh, uh, would be same we assume that the yield is equal to the interest rate henceforth otherwise the present value would never be the face value but if you assume that uh, if the scenario is like this then you are authorized to 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 take that so what you did 2 into 1% so you will get a difference let me calculate using microsoft excel you get to know 1009.35 minus 990.35 2 into 1000 into 0 0.01 so you will get approximately you will get approximately uh, you will get approximately 0.95 which is 0.95 years because we assume payment is going to be once in a year now what this is 0.95 is it is not difficult to interpret by because uh, key rate duration uh, you know it is uh, it is not covering the entire portfolio into consideration it is covering only uh, you know it is covering only a part of the portfolio into consideration so it means that if that part of the portfolio would get the yield plus minus between 100 basis point then the impact on the bond price would be 0.95 percent this is how we will calculate the key rate duration before winding up let me summarize it that key rate duration is one of the effective measures to compute the valuation of the bond but one thing which we sincerely need to understand in the key rate duration is that rather than doing the parallel shift in the yield curve key rate duration do the key rate duration measures only you know the change in the bond prices the change in the bond price with respect to a specific security now that specific uh, uh, sorry specific segment and here what we did here we took the segment of assuming 10 years so this was key rate duration about you and uh, as we very well understand that markets are turning very volatile at well very volatile and not all the parts of uh, i would say not all the parts of the uh, yield curve are moving at a faster pace only few parts are moving at the uh, sometimes a uh, uh, few parts move so in that regards it is very essential for you to understand key 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 uh, key rate duration into consideration this was for today and uh, you are always welcome to connect with us uh, at uh, our contact details you know that uh, you are welcome to connect with us at tragedy consulting llp at the rate gmail.com and my mobile number is 919899242978 we would like to thank you very much and we are really pleased to share that we are coming up with our uh, video uh, sorry we are all scheduled to touch uh, uh, 200 videos on youtube channel and our website is coming this week which would uh, launch several things about treasury consulting llp we thank you for that and uh, see you soon. This is Rahul Nagan from Treasury Consulting LP. Thank you.